Jose is making his presence known in New Jersey. Eyewitness Zeke Orzak shot this video this morning at Nunn's Beach in Stone Harbor. You can see the erosion is already underway there. And in Atlantic City, Jose is churning up the waves there as well. The ocean looks angry. The large swells from Jose are sending water over barriers and into the streets. And Jose is making his presence further known north. The mayor of Belmar, Matt Doherty, tweeted this picture this morning. Jose has damaged one of the piers. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. And I'm Natasha Brown. Rahel is off. Beach erosion and rough surf are very serious concerns down the shore today. Hurricane Jose is making his presence known this noon. Our New Jersey reporter, Clee Bryant, is live in Atlantic City right now with a look at the conditions at this hour. Clee. Natasha, good timing. The wind's really picking up right now. It's coming out of the north. Uh, this is definitely the impact that we expected from Jose. The wind in the 25 to 30 mile per hour range, which is probably about what we're seeing right now. A little bit of a mist that's whipping at us. Take a look at this surf, though. These are just huge waves at the inlet north of Atlantic City, and the wind just appears to be ripping the top off of the waves, blowing it back out to sea. In fact, you see the waves as they're hitting against the jetty. They smash up, and you get that, that big big bit of uh, sea mist, that spray that just is kind of beautiful, but just shows you how powerful it is. Uh, right now, it's low tide. It's close to low tide. It'll be at 1.30. Let's take a look at some video that we shot this morning. That was in Avalon uh, just prior to the high tide or right around high tide. And you really saw, saw the storm surge coming up against uh, the seawall barriers there, hitting up near the streets. And this is that storm surge that we have to worry about with Jose, which is in that five, six, seven foot range of a storm surge that causes the minor to moderate tidal flooding. Now, they did not get as much rain as they expected this morning. I checked in with several of the towns and their emergency management departments. They said that they were expecting more rain, and that led to not such severe flooding as they could have got this morning at the uh, high tides. But they did have to close coming into uh, Atlantic City here, the Black Horse Pike and the White Horse Pike, which are both prone to flooding. And any areas that are on the barrier islands that are typically prone to flooding during a nor'easter, uh, which is kind of how we expect this to act at the Jersey Shore, you really need to be careful of driving through those roads when we get to the high tides, especially tonight around 745 is when we have that next high tide. And that's really the next concern. So uh, as you're coming home from work today, uh, make sure that you find a good spot for your car into the evening because uh, if it was dry when you left this morning, it may be wet tonight. Reporting live in Atlantic City, Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Cleve, thank you so much. I mean